I'm Barbara Michelle and I'm here today with a Scrap Lift Saturday for the Crafty Maven Getaway Channel. Um, I showed the inspiration piece for this week along with the page that I'll be scrap lifting at the beginning of the video. The page is by Missy Whedon and there it is again. Um, so right now I'm just applying some gesso to a pattern paper. The paper comes from a Dear Lizzie documentary paper pad by American Crafts. Um, first I'm going to use this gift card to apply the gesso, but it leaves some lines in the gesso, so I'm going to smooth it out with a dry paintbrush. And then I'll dry the page. Alright, there I'm going to apply a lot of adhesive to the pattern paper because the gesso made it bow a little bit. And I'm going to back the paper onto a light blue uh, a light blue piece of, I guess it's pattern paper, it's coordination, it might be cardstock, I don't really know what the label is for that particular paper. But I just wanted it for the light blue color. Right now I'm going to map my photo on some pattern paper from Amy Tangerine Stitched Paper Pad. The first pattern paper was a red and white stripe that was from Amy Tangerine, and also that yellow polka dotted is from the same paper pad. And uh, I got out some blue papers because I wanted to mat it on the blue, and I just got out two to see which color. So that's another, the blue one that I chose, the light blue, was just another coordinations page. I originally kind of thought that I would cut out the back of the first coordinations page that I used, but I forgot. And I probably didn't need the whole backing anyway, because that uh, windowed pattern paper really needed the support after the gesso that I put on it. So one more mat for my photo. It was a purple page and it was from uh, I think Timeless, a Timeless Textures die cuts with a view paper pad. Okay now you can see I'm getting out some hexagon pieces and those I got took directly from Missy Whedon's page. What I liked most, what I like most about her pages are they're light and bright so that was what first drew me to it. But also these hexagons I thought would be perfect for me to put support, pictures supporting my main picture. Um, what the picture is, is my daughter Emma on a field trip at the City Museum. So I really loved that main picture. It's her and a group of her friends standing in like this tower window. It's fantastic. It's a stone tower. Um, kind of like a castle window. And the little pictures are just um, mostly just like things you would find at the city museum. Some of their interesting things to look at. And then one of them's of Emma uh, in one of the weird chairs there. Okay, so the pi uh, I put the pictures down first to see where I wanted them to lay out. And now I'm adding some watercolor behind the pictures it, directly where they were. Because I want to put them back... I laid them out first so I would know where to add the particular color of watercolor. I used a water brush first and I'm going back with a kind of a drier uh, paintbrush to spread the color around a bit and add more color uh, to to the page. Um, I just wanted to be sure to get get a lot of color on the page. I dried it and now I'm going to be stamping stamping different textured stamps in the same coordinating color of the watercolor that I just um, used. So that's a script stamp. All these stamps are from Prima. I got them at joannes.com or online at joannes.com and they don't all have a name of the stamp but the collection I think is Finnebear. Um, but they're fun little stamps. They just add the different textures to the page. And uh, the yellow one, I didn't think I could it would show up very well, so I had to keep. I tried that one several times, but I really liked how it turned out, and I love stamping on a page. Anytime you get to stamp on a page, it's great fun. It doesn't always seem to work out like it doesn't seem to coordinate. Maybe it does. I just have to try harder. But I liked that I got to use a lot of different stamps and a lot of different colors all over the page. The colors are mostly from the inspiration piece, the rainbow colors. Um, 
the inspiration piece had a lot of different shapes on it that I thought about using. It had like some that looked like uh, like waves instead of the colors. I was it had a lot of different options for things to use this week. Oh, and the shoes I thought maybe flip flops instead. Um, but I really wanted to scrap lift or scrap scrap this picture this a picture of my daughter as soon as I printed it I loved it and um, so I went for the colors the rainbow they're kind of you know in a tower it's fantastic the city museum is a really great place to take take your kids if you're ever in st. Louis Missouri uh, it's got all these wonderful like things to crawl through it has tunnels inside and out it has a lots of slides one of them's a 10 story slide you have to climb up a lot of stairs to get to it but going down is quite fun it's it's called the museum but it's really more of a play place for children to climb and uh, adults too I mean if that's your thing I don't really climb through all the stuff um, but I like to watch watch the kids when they were younger I would go with them so as not to lose them in all the tunnels, but now I just mostly watch. I do do the slides though, and it's pretty to look at. If even if you're not climbing through all the stuff, they have it's made with like these real reclaimed building materials. Right there, that is a um, a school bus, and I put it at the top of the page because at the city museum there's a school bus on the roof that looks like it's driving off the roof. You get to go inside it and climb around in it. They also have an airplane outside that you can climb through these bars to get to um I say bars but this is kind of like a big web of bars to climb I don't know it was hard to describe without being there but you climb up to the uh, airplane which I have never done but my girls have done each time we've been there and you get to go inside the airplane so my title for the page is called is I want to be a princess because that is what one of the girls said as they were headed toward this lookout tower um, and I do put that in my journaling as well that is uh, that little sticker there says perfection and I think these might all be from the Tim Holtz small talk little ideology words and phrases stickers they come in black and white. I chose the black ones. Um, the ones on the other side, the, the first one said perfection, and the ones on the other side said uh, we are fearless, independent, and original. So I'm just adding, adding the journaling lines, and I just say basically what I just said before, how one of the girls says she wanted to be a princess. I also added um, that they there is a word brave at the top right corner that little cluster up there and a few of the girls said they were afraid of heights and they were so brave to continue to climb through all of that stuff one was particularly scared and she even braved the walkway to go over to that tower so I was really proud of her she did a great job so that's just about in the end of my layout I'm gonna add these wood veneer pieces um, I colored them I painted them with acrylic paint and then I applied some glossy accents to give them a nice shine and I'm going to add one more, the little heart. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to catch all the other wonderful videos at the Crafty Maven Getaway. Here are some close-ups of the page. Thanks again. Have a great day.